girls and guys, it's Presley, and today I decided to make a new top five things I absolutely cannot stand because there's starting to be a lot more things that I absolutely cannot stand, and I just wanted to mention these because if you guys can relate to these, good for you. But anyway, let's get this video started. Number five. New songs that play on the radio over and over again. So when a new song starts to pop up, you're like, hey, it's pretty catchy. But then it starts to play over and over and over again until you start to hate that song and never want to listen to it ever again. Like, I don't understand what's, what's with the radio these days picking one song or one new song that just came up and just keep playing it until everyone gets sick and tired of it and never want to listen to it. Like, what's the deal? There are a bunch of other songs that no one hasn't listened to in so long. Like, turn on something on the radio like you haven't heard, like back in the 1980s or something. Like a real good catchy 1980s song that you haven't listened to in a long time. And you might want to get it back in your head, you know? Listen to those good old memories. Anyway... On to the next one. Number four, group texts. Now, I don't deal with group texts that often, but when I do, the only person who does group texts is my grandma, basically. Now, I don't hate my grandma. I just can't stand when she gives over group texts to almost, not everybody, just certain people, including me, which I really don't want to be a part of group texts. Like, when I'm like watching YouTube or something or try to take a nap, ding, 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 ding. My phone goes off and get a group text. I can't stand those things. Sometimes you hear a group text and your phone won't stop dinging and dinging and dinging and dinging. It just won't shut, it won't shut up and it probably wastes your battery life too. I'm sure a group text could be the bane of every, everyone's existence. But if you love group texts, I don't, I don't see why not. I mean, there's a lot of, there's, I'm sure there's some people who like group texts, like my grandma, but me, not a big fan. Not a big fan at all with group texts. Hate those things. Anyway, on to the next one. Number three, cry babies at public places. Basically, if a parent brings over a baby or a toddler and they won't shut the hell up. Like, parents, it's like some parents don't even try to control their kids. Like, I get it. Some parents are too busy. They don't have time to deal with their kids and stuff. But if you're just standing there not doing anything, like ignoring your own child, like pretending like it's not even your kid, you got some problems there. I mean, you... You had a kid, you were, you're going to raise this child. Especially if you're a mother too. Because if a mom ever ignores their child, you got some serious mental issues. Then again, this one, this one time when I was at the movies, I was going with my mom to see Frozen 2 at the theaters. And dear God, there's this one little girl right behind me. She wouldn't, she wouldn't shut up about, about the specific scenes in Frozen 2. Like, oh my gosh, Elsa's so cool. Oh, look, there's Olaf. I'm like, I'm thinking in my head, shut the hell up. I'm trying to watch this movie. I mean, I mean, I understand they're kids and they don't know any better, but good God, lady, control your child. Because, because her mom or her aunt was right next to her and didn't do a damn thing. And that pissed me off. Pissed me off so much. My mom decided to take me back in the, um, back in the very back where the handicaps sit. So I wouldn't have to deal with that mess. And thank God she did that because I was about to blow my gasket. I was literally, I was literally about to explode. Like... Control yourselves, especially when there's crying babies at a movie theater. It's, it's insane. 
And I'm sure a lot of you guys have dealt with serious problems like that before too. So anyway, on to the next one. Number two, glitter. Glitter has been the bane of my existence for as long as I can remember. Birthday cards, Christmas cards, any type of cards that I get, there's always has to be one card that has to deal with a bunch of glitter. And don't get me wrong, glitter is pretty and all, but I just can't stand it. Glitter is messy, glitter is hard to get off your skin. Like, unless you wash with soap and water or something, or some other method you use to get glitter off you. I can't stand it. Like, my dad took down our Christmas tree because Christmas is over, and there was glitter all, like, on the wooden floor, and I'm like, oh my gosh, my feet are gonna be covered with glitter, and I don't know if I can take it off. And, like, it's been, it's been awful. It's like my arch nemesis or something, glitter. Ugh, I freaking hate glitter. I despise it with every, every, everything. But that, that doesn't top what number one is about to be. And oh boy, it's the worst. The absolute worst. I don't know if you guys are going to be prepared for this number one list. This number one, you know, topic because it's awful. It's awful. It's so bad. Anyway, on to the final one. And number one, Karens. Karens have been, obviously had to be one of the worst things that, ha that had to happen in 2020 or any years for that matter. Mostly 2020, they made 2020 one of the worst years. One of the worst years possible. And if you don't know what a Karen is, it's, it, it's a term for an obnoxious, angry, entitled, and often racist middle-aged white woman who uses her privilege to get her way or police other people's behaviors. Basically, a woman who thinks about herself, who doesn't care about other people in the world, who thinks that everything evolves around this specific person. And... There, there can be male Karens too, because ugh, there are lots of Karens out there, especially in 2020 when COVID hit. They think when they're, when they're wearing a mask, they think it can take away their free rights or it's killing them. I mentioned this before on how to wear, on, on the how to wear a mask video and basically it's what Karens are. They're annoying, obnoxious. They're, all, they're always angry, and they always care about themselves. They don't care about other people in the world. And they always have to sue other people, too. Like, good Lord, what is your problem with suing people? Do you want to get money or something? Like, I don't know what the deal is with Karens these days. I feel like they're just getting worse and worse by the year. Or by the days, to be exact. Good God, Karens. I mean, I don't hate a lot of things, but this has to be one of the worst that ever happened in 2020. If you're a Karen and listening to this video and probably disliking this video, get some help, please. I'm at least giving you some advice here because look, people like Karens just have a behavior problem against themselves and other people too. And it's awful. It's awful. They need to get some help. At least go to a mental facility or something. At least learn how to treat people better. Treat other people the way you want to be treated. If you want to be treated like a Karen, that's fine. But if Karens want to treat you like trash, don't let them do that. Don't let Karens treat you like trash. Stand up to the Karens. Stuff like that, you know. Anyway, that's my other top five things that I absolutely cannot stand. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!